Okay, my name is Thomas Larrabee. I'm in the city of Timmins, my hometown. Now this is my favorite video game, Grand Theft Auto. Now, my favorite game is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But that game was made a while ago. And this game, they improved the graphics. And you're a black guy. Okay? You could switch three different members. Three different people. Now I love this game, okay? This game is very um, therapeutic for me, okay? Now you go, it's just like real life. You're doing mission to mission, or you can just drive around. I don't only talk to the kids when I'm drunk. I don't think. It gets kind of fuzzy. I am tired of your bullshit, Michael! Tired! <sighs> okay. The missions are hard. Okay. I like to do just a lot of driving around. Ah. Ah. Okay. This is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Awesome, right? It's all Grove Street. Like the Bloods and the Crips. Eh? But... Grove Street, green. But the graphics, I love the storyline, but the graphics aren't as realistic as this game, so I choose to play this game instead of uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or Vice City or Grand Theft Auto 3. This is Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I love this game. A lot of times I just like to wake up in the morning and smoke a joint and not even play the missions and just drive. I really love it, man. Sometimes I like to play and sleep with it still on and then have it turn off by itself. I love this game, okay? Now I'm in, my, I'm in my hometown! I love it in Timmins. I love it where I live. I've been here now for two years and going on three months. August will be two years and six months. Winter time will be three years. Two years after, it'll be five. Two years after, the great reset, fully complete. Now. I'm going to enjoy my Grand Theft Auto just before it's all taken away from me. All taken away from all of us. Goodbye to all these freedoms, people. They want to get rid of a lot. Now, nobody has come to my place of residence. Okay, that NWO account. I invited them to come. Okay, I blocked them. Okay. But I invite you to come over to my place of residence. Put a camera on my face, your face. Put a camera towards the... Facing the mailbox. Show everywhere. Then leave. And... Upload it onto either of those YouTube... Those two YouTube accounts. But it has to match the last people, the last suspect, okay? They say it's Terry, or, sorry, I say that it's potentially Terry, that it's my aunt, 
potentially Russell, my uncle, potentially the CAS worker, now Dave Fagan. I'm responsible for getting that poster made, like I've explained. And if you go look on Facebook, Dave Fagan's friends with Dave Raymond. Dave Raymond works at Boom the Basics, and he's the guy who could have took the picture. But it could have just been Terry taking the picture. She could have just been in a car, and she could have just took the picture of us. And she got a ride. She could have got a ride from someone. And that would explain why it took them three fucking years to finally get a fucking picture of me. Okay. But they got to cover up my face and my whole body with a screenshot of something that I said. And they can't use that photo again but not have me covered up. And say, Thomas Larrabee, hanging out in self porcupine sessions. No, they can't do that. So... Because it's been seven, eight, nine days or whatever, and nobody's coming. You know why I think nobody's coming? Because it's not her, and Norma has no clue that her pictures are even being used. Because I'm not titling this her name. Because she doesn't fucking need that. Okay? It's not her, it's fucking you. You have more of a fucking reason to be upset. Okay. I've already explained all that. And nobody fucking comes. I love this fucking game, man. And the other game, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you get to listen to Loretta Lynn sing. Very relaxing. I'll go back to, look at, I'm arriving in South Porcupine. I'll go back to the other guy. That's the, okay. This is the white guy. <clears throat> I figured while I'm talking like this, if I have the game, why not show it? Okay. Now let me explain what Terry did. She went on to Norma's Facebook account. Anybody can go and look on somebody's Facebook account, right? So she went on her account. And she found a video. It looks like a picture, but it's just a short little video. But it's a video that she, yeah, she goes on the wall and she sees a picture video that she took. So she downloads the video and she re-uploads it as her own. But she doesn't show her name. She, she, well, she See what she was trying to do? All you see is that it's on Facebook and that she posted it one day ago. But I think that because just the way she downloaded Stephanie's video and re-uploaded it, and if you didn't already see that, then you would go, oh my god, Stephanie's uh, intimates with Terry just to get you to feel the rest. Oh, shit. On her birthday, yeah. On Terry's birthday. Because Terry really does want that. Very, very badly. See, Terry was always like this. I don't need you guys. I got my looks and my men, and I got my mom. But she lost all her looks. So, she lost her looks. That could have, that didn't need to happen. What I mean? Fucking Ernie, you should have took care of mom. But hey, you wanted, you wanted your two girlfriends. But it's easier to pick on me than him. He works. We don't. 
we're both on ODSP. But that's what this is really about, is that she always thought, I don't need Francine, my sister, or my nephew, or my niece, or anybody. Because I got a ticket. I'm, I'm not even like a... Like the other day I went on the bus, and it was like, we're all regular people. But back then, Tara wasn't amongst us. No, she was like Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. She was like um, not an ordinary person at all. Okay? She was like that. And if that's all taken away from you, and now you're just an ordinary person, and you lost all that, and you'll never get it back, you can be angry, right? So, she's taking care of Lucy, right? She's taking care of Lucy. And what does she do now that she doesn't have a man? Well, she, what did she do with her time? This! This! Now, the police wanted to say, it's you doing it to yourself. <laughs> the, the police and that and Terry probably want to say, you're doing it to yourself. You have mental health. You're just doing this to create attention. Get attention. And you just want to accuse her. I don't just want to accuse her. Listen, you think I'm staying in Timmins? Uh, I'm staying in Timmins for you, officer. I'm demonstrating what I want you to do. Remember I explained that before in the video? I've explained it. I've talked with, with one of your officers, okay? The officer clarifies... Clarifies that... The first allegation isn't true. So then why would you go along with their second allegation? The second allegation is what I just said. And they're going along with that potentially. So I'm not just going to ask you to stop going along with the second one. I'm going to do it myself. Now, they just said that it's the fourth suspect. And you could look at me and go, well, who is it, Thomas? Like, come on, say it's the fourth one. And like an officer probably, if I called the cops right now and I was speaking with them, the officer could say and ask me, well, who is behind this, Thomas? And believe what they're saying, even though you just confirmed that the first isn't true. You now want to go along, you, 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 want, you want to go along with the second one? Well, listen, I can ask you not to go along with the second. And I can ask you to track it, but that's a lot more work than just assuming that it's me doing it to myself and never arresting me because I'm not doing this to anybody else or because I'm asking you to track it, okay? And I'm not just asking you to track it. I'm making a video like this where I'm saying, listen, I've walked the person. But I invited, but I invited them to come over to my place.